Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're moving back to Ascension Parish, Louisiana for the Battle of Cox Plantation that occurred on July 12th and 13th, 1863. Commanding Union forces were Generals Godfrey Witzel, a German-born division commander, along with General Cuvier Grover, who had been cited for bravery in leading a bayonet charge against Stonewall Jackson at the Second Battle of Bull Run. Each commander was leading a division. Opposing them, leading two Confederate brigades, was Brigadier General Tom Green. No, not that Tom Green, the other Tom Green. General Green was a rising star in the Confederate Army and the namesake for Tom Green County, Texas. Today's victor, the Confederacy. On July 9th, after successful battle at Port Hudson, Union Generals Godfrey Witzel and Cuvier Grover, who were probably best buds by now, were moved to Donaldsonville in order to attack the artillery of Confederate General Richard Taylor, who was currently blocking the Mississippi River. The Confederate artillery had been successful in stopping the Union momentum and something had needed to be done. Having already heard of raiders in Bayou Tech, the Union generals moved into Bayou Laforge and there sent out foraging units to help supply the Union force. This is where they found General Green had taken a defensive position on July 11th with one brigade on each side of the river to prevent the Union from crossing while giving the Confederacy the ability to pull back. Foraging detachment had reached Cox Plantation, also known as St. Emma's Plantation, about six miles outside of Union Fort Butler on July 13th. There they met a much smaller Confederate force who immediately attacked and defeated the larger Union force, forcing the Union troops back to Fort Butler by evening. This loss by the Union had unexpectedly allowed Confederate General Taylor to withdraw supplies he had captured back to Brashear City. Casualties were once again one-sided as the Union lost approximately 470 men killed, wounded, or missing. Meanwhile, the Confederates only lost about 55 men killed, wounded, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.